Wah, Babel. Hi guys, welcome to a little product introduction and video review on a pretty cool little item. What you have in front of you is a Crossman 357. Now if you're into semi-automatics, it's cool, but revolvers always have a place in my heart and this is one that I really like. Now with an air gun like this, it's really designed to look like a real pistol. And uh, as revolvers go, it looks pretty straightforward. Feels really good in hand. I like the grips on it. They're plastic grips and that's where you actually put your CO2 cartridge. We'll get into that in a second. Now with an air gun like this, like I said, you can go ahead and drill a little bit. Um, I'm not really used to revolvers a lot. You know, I do carry every once in a while, but um, I like to practice with it and ammunition costs are really high. So having a gun like this, it comes in handy and definitely makes it a little bit more affordable to uh, practice and drill, get the muscle memory down. Now with that said, to place the uh, CO2 cartridge in the gun, you go ahead and pull off the grips in the back, place your CO2 cartridge there. There's a little tab here on the back end. You tighten that down really quick. You can do it fast enough where you don't have any air bleed off when you're piercing the uh, CO2 cartridge and you know it works really well. Uh, I really like that little design so it's no hindrance and you're not bumping your hand into something else. Then you go ahead and put back on your um, grips and then these grips for being a hard plastic they actually feel very comfortable and uh, really work nice I like the grips on it a lot now you have your uh, straightforward design to load the pellets in the gun you actually push down on this little button here on the top and then break the barrel back down and you can actually load your BBs right in this little magazine uh, holds 10 I wish it would hold a couple more because it definitely 10 go really quick in this little CO2 gun and uh, it works really well. Now the barrel itself is actually a really nice barrel. You can see there's some grooves in it uh, for the pellets to fly down. I don't know if I can catch them really well right there, but it's a metal barrel. And like I said, it's pretty straightforward. The gun's about as accurate as the shooter is, so you're gonna enjoy it. Um, overall, nice construction. You have a plastic piece that surrounds the barrel all up in the front. On the back end, it's all metal. You have a metal trigger and a metal hammer. Uh, there's a safety right here on the back end. Now you po push that safety in and uh, there's a little plastic tab that stops the uh, hammer from striking the, uh, the weapon and firing it. So when you move it to the side, you're good to go. Uh, the sight picture is actually pretty decent. You have a really big front blade in the front and uh, on the back end, the back is adjustable right and left. So be aware though that if you're going to be shooting different types of ammunition, different types of pellets, uh, or you're going to be shooting BBs through it, the uh, point of impact is going to be a little bit different for each, you know, each round. So um, be aware and uh, adjust accordingly. Other than that, it's pretty straightforward. Really nice trigger. You can fire in the you can fire in the single or double action. So you don't have to cock back all the time. It rotates the cylinder and fires off the rounds, you know, really well. Now, there isn't any um, knowing if you hit, well, you can actually tell in the sound that the gun makes when you're firing on an empty cylinder. So, you know, but there's no other way of, it doesn't stop. If you, if you keep on firing on empty cylinders, you're gonna waste off air, so be aware of that. And uh, like I said, it's a great gun. Uh, very fun, very enjoyable. And if you're really not familiar with revolvers that much, it's a great little pistol to have and to use at the backyard or in the uh, basement and get some time in with the uh, the actual grip of your pistol and stuff. So uh, that is a look at the uh, Crossman 357. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. Please check out my other videos and uh, please subscribe if you can. You guys have a good one. Be safe. Take care. I'm out.